I'm Old Man Pat and I've been playing golf for over 70 years and in today's video I'm going to show you how to break 85 comfortably and also a tip that no pro will teach you guaranteed success Right golf mates as the intro says we've got OMP and he's going to teach us how to break 85 we're going to go down in fives these videos so Pat, as you were saying here now, you only need four bogeys, don't you? Four bogeys, eh? Well, the thing is, you could have 15 bogeys. Sorry, yeah, I've got it right. Four bogeys. pars, four, four pars, pars yeah. four pars. Yeah. And like I say, anyone off 18, 20, the, the thing is, is try and keep a double bogey off the cat. That's, that's the main thing, that's when you come unstuck. So really, it's geared for like 20, I even think 25 handicappers. Yeah, yeah. Easy. With the right knowledge, you can do this. Of course they can, yes. So we're going to start on a long par four. OMP? Yes. Lead the way, but talk oh. us through what you think. Right, what we've got here now is our 11th hole. It's 421. Yeah. And what... We try and explain some of it here. You don't have to take it long to lose your handicap. So Pat is not even going to take his driver. You've got a five iron rescue, five aren't you? Five iron rescue, yes. Yeah. What goes about 160? Oh, yeah, 155, 160, yeah. 155, right. So we could hit that quite knob it left and right yeah. and you can hit it again. Yeah, but I won't reach that bunker, that's it. Oh, you've no idea no, the no. bunker. So what we're trying to explain here now, a bogey, we can get a bogey by hitting an iron. Yeah. If that's your favourite club and you're a bit wayward with a driver, leave it alone, just yeah, leave it. it. Yeah. He go out the window and just go, you, if it's a seven iron 150. And you also won't hike it out of bounds on the yeah. left. The best way to describe this is this. Look there now and look at the widest par 3 you could ever see. Yeah, that's it. And play it as a 150 par 3, like Pat's going to do. And Pat, that was just like a bunt down there, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't need to be aggression, does it? That's it. That's unfortunately that, that's the problem with a lot of golfers. It's this aggression. This the Dick's got that, Ali. <laughs> Do you think he would have got rid of his aggression Dick's when he got comes? A lot of stuff, <laughs> <laughs> which we'll hear about a weekend. Yeah, he's home, isn't he? He is. Looking forward to. Him. Right, OMP. What's your thought now, mate? You, you, you. Well, I'm going to use the same club again. Yep. I'm trying to get down as far as possible. And then maybe with the next one get on the green. Right, so you're saying get down as far as possible, so you're hitting that same. Yeah. Is well, there any, are you actually you aiming for an area or you're not asked? Well, left if possible. Left if possible yeah. for making your third shot easier. Correct, no, we don't have to go over bunkers. Okay. But, but as you can see behind me here, there's a bunker which, if I'd have taken a driver, I might possibly be in there. Yeah. So that takes that out of it. All yours, chops. I'm glad you've done that. Yeah. So he's, he's hogged it right. Near that 150 marker there. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's okay. But that's real life, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Right, golf mates. If you're wondering what this channel's all about, it's no subscribers, just golf mates playing golf. Right, OMP, you're not the side of the fairway, but for break 85, you ain't going to hit it where you want to hit it, no, are you? No, not all the time, no. So I'm glad I'm over here then to show you that there's a slight... It's hard bunker. a shot because yeah. you've got to go over the bunker. Yeah. But you said you're staying away from the right hand side of the green because yeah, of the because pin. Because and that bunker on the right. That's where the second bunker is. So we think you've got about 135 in. That's it. And what are you going with? I'm the eight iron. A little eight iron. Just forget it over the bunker let it run on. That's right. So you want a bit of loft, don't you? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, that might have just run off around the edge, but yeah. it's downwind and it's hard yeah. and it's sunny, but... It's a two-foot, two-putter again, that's all it matters. So then, let me just jump back, I need to get back in here. So what he's saying there, ego has gone. Yeah. You've hit a four or five, I forgot now, four or five iron rescue, is it a five rescue? Five rescue twice. A five rescue and a five rescue. 
Now, you probably could hit it further than Pat. You might only need an 8 or a 7 iron. Oh, yeah. You imagine a 430 yard hole and your favourite club's an 8 iron. 8 iron, 8 iron, and probably a pitching wedge. Yeah, that's it, yeah. And you're on the green. Yeah. Taking a double out of it, aren't you? Taking all that trouble out. Just knock it down the middle twice and then. Lesson to be learned there ego. Yeah. Probably ruin your scores. Ego <laughs> ruin your score. Well, you will, won't it? Well, that's what happens. That's, that's what ruins the cars, the ego. Right, Pat. A little bit big, but yeah. nothing silly big, is it? You know, oh, no, no. it's just downwind. You can see it flat, yeah. the flag. You'll take this all day, won't you? Definitely. What have you got in your hand? A seven iron, just a little pitch and run. Where do you want to land this, Pat? You just point where you want to land. You go and touch it where you want to land. Wanna but it's just for the people at home so they can see, because it's going to be fast. Land at about there. Right, okay. Will that not be too much? Wow. Oh, oh, I've just questioned you. Sorry, Pat. Not to worry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The master. So, Pat, come here now. So, that chip now. Have you purposely left it above the hole so it's an uphill yes. pull? Well, that's, well, no, I'd be telling lies. I just I wanted to get it as near as possible to so the hole. I'm what, happy that? with that. So get your putter, so really you've yeah. left it in the circle of friendship, haven't yeah. you? We like the circle of friendship, don't we? Gordon. So it's same again, OMP. There's again. a bit of concentration, isn't there? Concentration at all times. Just again, even on these, you just get a mark, you know, to... And would you say a putt from three foot, be confident and hit it firm? Yes. It always... Obviously, it's always best to go past the hole because there's nothing worse than leaving it short in the centre of the hole. True, so true. Just like that. OMP, yeah. can we just see... People have been asking, and it's a little gadget for saying <laughs> OMP bending down. Yeah. You love it though, don't you? Yes, ideal for picking balls out of holes. When you're when old you enough. My age. When were you 104? Exactly. Come on. I'm hoping to have this when I'm 104. I'm not, what, the same ball? I won't put it past same you. Ball as well. <laughs> right, golf mates, this tip OMP's giving you now is probably never seen on YouTube, but it's not a tip. Without being disrespectful to a pro, they would never teach this. But this could be a massive, massive help. Let me show you exactly what it is, because it's a snobby tip. There might be golfers out there a bit snobby who don't want to do it. Watch. Right, OMP, this is a tip. I've just mentioned it then. You will not see not a lot of pros telling us this, would no, you? No. The thing is, this is something I sometimes do. If you're in a bunker, and it's not a pop bunker, it's just a normal flattish. And the pin is very near, you can't, you know, you've got nothing to play with. I use a putter. So Can I jump on this? Yeah. What about if you're a high handicapper and you hit the ball well, you lose shots around the course because when you're in a bunker, basically you're crap. That's it, you can't get out. You do you think you can do this? People you see taking six, seven to get out of a bunker. But a putter, you've got to go, can you, do you think you can do this in one take? Well, hopefully. Go on then. Yeah. No. But you won't get it that near with it you're trying to get it. Well, at least you get it out that way. But more importantly, if you're not confident in a bunker shot, yeah. it, that were quite easy, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. So long as you have the car, don't forget you've got to give it an extra to jump forward a little. Can we go in another bunker and do it again? Yes, yeah, certainly. Right. Yeah, all yours, mate. Come on, let's just chuck it in there and do it. Right, that's your second shot. Yeah. Weren't great. No golf, mate. So we're showing this. That is a big lip, isn't it, Pat? It is. It we'll is. get you from the side. If that's all right, now you can see the lip. Right, Pat. All yours. <laughs> right, Pat. On a serious note, we've said. If the people who are playing in winter, a putter's yeah. good in the winter as well, isn't it? Absolutely, it's frozen. because this. It freezes solid, you just can't get your club under it. So it's ideal to give it just a 
you wouldn't have to give it so much of a wrap. Definitely. You need to. So golf mates, that is a class shot to have. If you're struggling in the bunkers and you haven't got a lit, I mean, look, we're going past it now. Look at it. That was a class shot by OMP. I think he needs a light for that. But you'll never ever get that tip from a pro. It's not a disrespectful to the pros. It's more, it's something they don't want to teach. It's not manly. Right, golf mates, apologies for the shade. It's just, oh, it is with the cap on the sun. We've got to yeah. protect Pat's head. This is the first stone. Now, this is a problem for a lot of golfers. Another golf. You can lose your, whatever course in the world, you can go double bogey or even treble or more on the first stall. In fact, yeah. comment below, how many times have you just ruined your card on the first stall? Because you're just fresh, you've not practised, you've just rushed down to the tee. Yes. And uh, you're struggling. So some of us can't practise, can That's we? That's it, yeah. But this is how we play. This is 435 yards, but me and Pat will move to the side. Yeah. Watch out, young man. Yeah. Look at that. Now, if you think of this, 150 yard, 150 yard, you'll have 130 in. Yeah, yeah. So this is how we've said it. That there is the widest par three in the world. Yeah, that's all. If you think of it, it's a par three, mm. I just need to get it 150 yards. It doesn't matter if it goes left or right. No, no, there's, enough, there's no problem there, no. So OMP is hitting, is it a five? Five rescue, yeah. Five rescue, watch this. Perfect. Right, Pat. Would you say you nearly topped it? You're very thin. Very thin. Oh, thin. Very now, thin. that is hit that there. That's what happens when you rush down to the tee. And we're going to say rush because we've got a queue of them waiting here. Yeah. There's the bags and they're on the putty green. Pat, but that's real life what's just happened. Yeah, so, yeah. But I would say that had still gone nearly 150 yards. Yeah. So let's go and see. Yeah, and play this how it should be. As it should be played, yeah. Right, so that's OMP there. His tee shot is here. OMP. Yes. And what did we say there? You did not tee up your tee shot. Not tee I'm up. not saying it's. Yeah. But sometimes when you tee them up, you're getting too high because these are rescue clubs. They're not. They're supposed to be able to pick up off. So he's line. got that all the way up there, and like yeah. I said, he might have scrambled to 150, but you can't see it. It's only because it had top spin, and it's a little bit downhill. Right, OMP, what have you just told me? The widest par three in the world. Maybe a bit left if possible. Don't know if we're going to see it because there's a hump there. Yeah, I can see it now, near the 150 marker yeah. there. Can you see it? Just short the 150 marker. Right, okay. Right, it's getting hot out here. OMP with a flag at the back, he's not he's 10 yards from the 150. So it could be 170 this. Could be 170. But it's born hard, isn't it? Yeah. So it's gonna run. So you're hitting the same club three it's times, aren't you? Three times, yeah. Go for it, mate. There. Midge is short, but all down to the T shot. Yes. But yes. joking apart, we're not making a fool of you. You could have hit a three wood yeah, second yeah. shot because you've got it in you, but you're just proving something here, aren't you? Uh, you can. If you hit three good 150 yeah, yard shots. Yeah, get up there, yeah. Okay, so let's see if you can get up and down. Right. Talk to us about your chipping because you're going to have to go over a bit of bunker, I think. I, no, I think I'm on the edge. I'm okay. Right, to be fair to Pat, the green starts there so he had a little boat so he had a bit of a fade on it yeah. midge straight would have been middle at green but technically you're not that bad are you no 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 so what have you got seven iron again just run her up to the hole hopefully. so where's your bouncing about 10 foot ten yards, about 10 yards onto the green okay mate it should be Love it, great shot. You like that? Yes, that'll do. So I keep saying golf mates, if you're new to the channel, this channel does not have subscribers. We're golf mates, we're a community. And as you see there, subscribers, we don't like we don't like the word, 
we're not subscribers this channel is all about you as much as me part the dick and the other lads so definitely click the button and be one of the golf mates it's free and you're not a number right back to OMP see if he can get his bogey simple we nearly missed that again you murder you what I will say is fast as I but hope you show OMP some love because we're getting his knowledge and this might help me win a few fibres so he's, he's happy and he's not happy aren't you yeah. So thank you very much, OMP. Thank you. Thank you. And I think let's say so we can see you. Get in the sun. Right, hope you hope you've hope you've enjoyed the video. And hope to see you all very shortly. Well you're gonna see the island golf yes. mates. So that's sold out and there's still people coming just for a drink. Oh I'd love that. So you? yeah. you've got enough fibres by having a drink, haven't you? I certainly have. And uh, it's goodbye from me. And me. And we're going to do a break 80 video and 70, 70, 70, 75, 100. We're going to do a bit of everything. Everything. And don't, be dis don't think what we've told you, if you're a really good golfer, about putting out of a bunker. Because that is the best tip you're ever going to see on YouTube. Correct. And give him a like. See you later. See you later, golf mates.